the military camp in Marawi City on Thursday, day three of clashes. Enemy snipers aimed at military choppers flying in and out of the 103rd Brigade headquarters to move troops and supplies. Troops grabbed their guns while civilians sought cover. The harassment was repeated in the early evening, just before a scheduled press conference inside the camp. Loud exchanges of gunfire were heard from the camp as the flashes shone bright against the dark sky. First Infantry Division spokesman Lt. Col. Joe R. Herrera said the camp was safe. He added the terror groups are pinned down and are resorting to diversionary tactics. Operations continue. We will not stop until we flush out the remnants of the local terrorist group. Troops also encountered around 30 heavily armed men as forces cleared two bridges. The military says a total of 31 Maute group members have been killed since military operations in Marawi City began. At least 11 soldiers and two policemen have died since the fighting started. Clashes erupted on Tuesday when the military moved to hunt down Abu Sayyaf senior leader Isnilon Hapilon, who was spotted in Marawi City. On Thursday evening, President Rodrigo Duterte submitted to Congress his report on the declaration of martial law in Mindanao. The Senate and the House of Representatives have the power to revoke the declaration through joint voting, but Congress leaders said it is unlikely that they will do so. Under the 1987 Constitution, the President has to report to Congress in person or in writing within 48 hours after making the declaration. The period of martial law must also not exceed 60 days, and any extension must be approved by Congress.